Hey YouTube, thanks so much for watching my Georgian beet salad video. First, get some beets ready. Cut off the ends. When I bought these, they had the greens on top. But by the time I got around to filming the video, they were a bit brown and wilted, and I felt they were unsuitable for the video, so I removed them off camera. First, peel them. The first attempt I made of this video, I attempted to peel them after I boiled them. It didn't work out so well. So I'm peeling them first. Even though they might lose a little bit of vitamins in their pigment, that's alright. Beets are a cool weather crop. Where I'm from, it's best to grow them in spring and autumn. Compost everything. Now boil them for about 45 minutes. Beets have beta carotene as well give them the purple color. Really good for your skin. I know I don't get enough beta carotene, but too much is too much. Once you can pierce them easily with a knife, they're done. The water can be used for other recipes including smoothies, but I'll get into that in another video. Cool them off in cool water. Meanwhile, while the beets are cooking, even though I already showed you the entire beet process of cooking, toast about a cup of walnuts in olive oil. You can also oven roast them, but I prefer pan toasting. Keep stirring them around for about seven minutes on high. They start turning black, turn the heat off immediately. Once they're a bit brown, but not black, they're done. My region has a lot of black walnut trees. I'm not sure what these are but the black walnuts don't have a whole lot of nuts to them. Once the beets are cooled off, grate them. Just glide it once it gets down to the ends. Super high speed. That's what it should look like. You can grate it finer if you prefer. Once the walnuts are toasted, chop them up a little bit, but not too much. Add in the bowl, a few tablespoons of Greek yogurt, juice of about half a lemon, a small handful of cilantro, both the lemon and the cilantro are natural preservatives. This recipe stays good in the refrigerator for about seven days. garlic. This is store-bought garlic. As I always say, stiff neck garlic from farmers markets or grown yourself is the best garlic. But it doesn't have a very long shelf life and right now it's not in season. As you can see it's a bit old, a bit difficult to tear off, but it's better than no garlic. Garlic is so good for your heart, your entire circulatory system. Get the blood flowing to your brain. Feel like a lot of people need that. And mince it up real fine. Eating garlic not only keeps vampires away, but also fleas and mosquitoes.
season with some Himalayan pink salt and fresh ground black pepper. Pepper for medley or sea salt or whatever you desire. Season to your own taste. I'm not even measuring anything. By the way, find a complete recipe on a steam blockchain. I also have shorter versions of every video I do on DTube. All my videos there are under two minutes. Now stir everything together and it's ready to eat. Thanks so much for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Have a great day.